Okay, so we're back. And we have uh, evened. just evened it out. So now we're going to do eyeliner. This is my favorite part. And so what I'm going to do... the most important part. The most important part. I'm actually going to show you a trick today. Um, I basically just did like a very clean black line. But lately, these days, I've been really into blending my gel liners. And again, I'm using a Bobbi Brown gel liner. This color is called um, Chocolate Shimmer Ink. And these are amazing because you... These are our number one favorite eyeliners because... Ever. They Tell them why. better than... Well, first of all, they're easy to apply. So if you're not used to applying eyeliners, they... It's easy. I'm have you lean in a little bit, sister. Okay. Yeah, it's easy to just kind of And they have them. great colors. So I'm kind of like not really caring too much about like being perfect and where I place this color. But I'm just putting it on her lid. Um, and I'm going to do little bit right in there to just make sure you get it from the inner uh, rim to the end and before it dries you want to smudge it so um, I'll take I'll take a brush like that I use like for my eyebrows like an angle brush like that and once it dries a little bit I kind of just take my brush and go over that line so that it kind of softens a little bit and then I'll kind of like go on an angle and kind of blend it up a little bit. So it's a much softer, like more smudged. <laughs> Can you see that? See that? Yeah. Then, then, oh, we're not done. No, it's not over yet. It's not over. So then you will still take a black line and put it right in the middle, like right at the very base of your lash line, and it will really make the eye pop. So let's even you out. And if you have never tried a liquid eyeliner or a gel eyeliner, it really, it's the same thing as the windshield wiper eyeshadow that we've talked about in the other video, is just practice. Don't mm -hmm. do it right before you're going out. Not before a first Not date. Ever. Not before a party that you want to, you know, you're going to see people that you haven't seen in a long time. Just practice at home and get it right. And you'll get it. You really get in there, La. So I'm literally just kind of like putting it on, not really minding where it goes. And then before it dries, I'm just going to kind of go over that line and blend it. Just to kind of soften that look. I don't know if you guys watched um, Bachelor Pad, but on the episode where Melissa and William go home, Erica had her eye like this. I did Erica's hair and makeup that night, and I really smudged in um, a, a really beautiful dark color into her lid. So uh, kind of the same technique, just not using such a dark color to blend. So now I actually am taking the black ink, and I'm going to take my uh, brush and kind of just make sure I clean it off so that none of that other color is on, and just apply it with my ultra-fine lining brush. The brushes are really so important. Um, because if you don't have the right brush, you can't get the right angle or the right movement. See how small? I mean, I know all about angles and movement. And this angle and this movement <laughs> rocks my world. Okay, so get really close No in comment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up on her eye and literally get right down at the base of her lash line. You almost like don't think you're going to see it when she opens up her eye. Um, but keep this very clean. And now open. Bam! Bam! Bam, bam! <laughs> so hot. <laughs> so hot. There's something about just having that depth right at the base of your lash line. Let me have you get in a little bit more. Um, that really, once you have your mascara on, makes your lashes look like they are so long and just gives depth. Mm-hmm. And I'm not a makeup artist, and I do this exact same thing on my eyes. And so anyone can do this. Any of you guys can do this. Okay, we're going to have Lara apply her mascara, and we'll be back. 